Here we have a 2007 Range Rover Sports HST in black. The car is fully loaded in spec as you'll see throughout the video. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth, we're looking at a good 5 to 6 millimetres of tread there. Looking at the offside front alloy, as you can see a little bit of a curve mark there on the outside edge. Looking around the rest of the alloy, it does actually appear to be in nice condition with just a couple of light scratches. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down the bodywork. Personally, cannot see any signs of any dents or any dinks down the bodywork there. Nice condition. Looking around the offside front arch, there's a couple of light scratches. You've got the chrome mirrors. Again, they're in nice condition. Driver's door looks very well. Um, barely any sign of any scratches. A couple of touchings in the door edge are going to require some paint. You've got the running boards on there as well. Slightly starting to rust there. Again, it's just age related. Look at the rear passenger door again. A couple of marks and require some paintwork on there. A couple of nicks in the door edge again. You've got the rear privacy glass and also the sunroof on top, which I'll show you later on in the video. Moving towards the rear arch and the rear quarter, again, just a couple of light scratches require polish. And the rear tyre, looking at a good 4 to 5 millimetres of tread there. Looking at the offside rear alloy, again, nice condition, a couple of scratches and a couple of very minor little nicks in the outside edge there. But again, nice condition for its age. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle. Lovely looking car indeed. It's got the, uh, all the body kit on, etc. Rear parking sensors, you've got the uh, twin exhaust uh, trims there. Again, just a couple of light scratches to the back of the tailgate, so a bit of a mop and polish required here. The majority of them are very light, so should not really be an issue. Uh, near side rear quarters, all very clean, and it's looking very well. Take a look inside the boot. As you can see, it's the supercharged as well, really does shift. Lovely condition inside, you've got your parcel shelf. Uh, you've got two trays underneath there as well, as you can see. So definitely been looked after on a, the spare wheel is uh, typically located underneath the vehicle there as you can see. And move around to the near side rear tyre. Once again, looking at around 4mm of tread. Near side rear alloy, however, very heavily curved as you can see on the video. So definitely going to require a refurb to this alloy. Looking around the near side of the vehicle, we've got a small dent um, next to the front passenger door. And also quite a heavy um, chip in the running boards which I'll show in a second. Apart from that again just a couple of light scratches going to require polish. As you can see on the running board here you've got a few uh, scuffs and marks as we move down there quite a few scuffs and then as you can see is a quite a heavy uh, chip there or heavy scuff um, on the running board there so just be aware of that. Mirror's in nice condition and like I said you've got a small dent there on the near side rear passenger door Apart from that, like I said, just some light scratches. Front tyre, a good four millimetres there, so plenty of tread on all four tyres. And unfortunately, a bit of curbing there to the near side front alloy. Um, so more than likely going to require a refurb to this alloy as well. We ran to the front of the vehicle, you've got a couple of light scratches on the front, a couple of stone chips, front parking sensors, headlight washers, Zenons, etc. Stone chips to the bonnet again, just your usual age-related marks. No signs of any damage at all to the front bumper. So again, just a couple of stone chips here and there. Now take a look at the interior. We are looking at the full black leather interior. It is perforated as well. Lovely clean condition, no signs of any damage at all there. And as you can see, got the rear entertainment systems with the TVs in the back of the headrest there. All the back of the seats are in nice condition. Heated seats in the back as well. And all the door panels, etc. Lovely and clean. Take a look at the driver's seat and front passenger. Again, you've got a slight bit of uh, markings there on the headrests. Bolsters are in nice condition. Again, electric memory seats in there as well. Front passenger seats also looking very clean. Dashboard, etc. is uh, nice and tidy. Steel was not bad at all for its age. And we've also got the Harman Kardon uh, sound system there as well. Taking a look at the inside of the car, as you can see, you've got your display here, etc. Um, two sets of keys with the vehicle as you can see there, and just getting the vehicle started up. As you can see, no issue at all starting the vehicle, just start first time. Low coolant level there, so just be aware of that. We're looking at 62,330 uh, miles on the clock, so very low mileage for the vehicle's age, and again, no other symbols appearing on the dash car runs very nicely and it certainly does go. Uh, multifunction steering wheel, 
Like I said, you've got the uh, nice display here, it's all touch screen. Navigation working perfectly fine. CD and radio, no issues there, sounds great with the Harman Cardons. Heated seats in the front, and also in the rear like I showed you. No issues with the blowers at all, and you've got your air conditioning etc. Auto box, and just quickly showing you the sunroof. Does work perfectly fine, as you can see, no issues at all there. Looking at the paperwork, looking at the V5 for the vehicle, the car's had three owners, so three owners on the vehicle. Uh, we don't have an MOT certificate as it's been sent off for retention, but we have confirmed the MOT expiry date is the 30th of the 10th, 2015. And so we are looking at a full partial franchise service history. So you can see your first one there at 19. Uh, they've missed the page out. As you can see, they've got one there at 25, um, 49, 51, um, oh, there's one there at 38, so I think they've got the pages muddled up here, and 43, and then it obviously goes on to 51. Um, we've got 46, 58, and that was your last service there at 58,000. So gearbox oil, V belt, and diff oil as well. So not that long ago serviced, um, around four to five thousand miles ago. There we go, guys. That's the 2007 Range Rover Sport HST in black. It's got the DVDs, uh, the TV in the rear, etc. Running boards, Harman Kardons, heated front and rear seats, auto lights, etc. Lovely looking car, a couple of cosmetic marks on the exterior. Interior is lovely and clean as well, and you can definitely been, uh, definitely been taken care of as well. Very nice looking car.